pretty. Hey guys, welcome back. January 4th, 2019. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. 4.56 to be exact. Yeah, working, trying to get that creative flow going. Um, <clears throat> also, embracing imperfection. So, today's topic is about phenomenology and, and what we hold to be real. Is it the things that we feel or is it the things that we say? And sometimes we get this confused because of the map that we have created and the map is not the territory and sometimes what happens is that like when we have these tragic moments where we feel betrayed or life is not going our way or something chaotic comes out our whole reality is left in shambles and we kind of fall down so it's like this you know nice elevated plateau and then we just kind of fall it's almost like Super smart, uh, like Smash Brothers Melee, where you would play on the final destination battlefield against Master Hand, and then you fall down. And that's what reality is. This is where you pick yourself up and you fix yourself, or at least get yourself back together, as well as the world. And being able to do that is being able to uh, understand what meaning is. Meaning is basically whatever we focus meaning on. Because life has two different types of interpretations that you can have, which is you're reading a book and the book already has its underlining meaning and you're imposing your interpretation on what is on that. Or the book never had meaning until you gave it interpretation. So, what happens is that we have to understand how it works both ways. And being able to understand that life is giving us information that allows us to manifest what is necessary for us. Um, it creates a sequence of events for us to unlock as if it were codes. and our nervous system is designed to uh, be that thing that we find most fascinating uh, as long as we don't interrupt it or interfere with it and that most often times becomes uh, because of our presuppositions that we have and it makes it very difficult for us to uh, be flexible with uh, life so it's a combination of being able to uh, be as flexible as you can but still have some control necessary for you to uh, focus at the same time so as things start changing in your life you're able to give it meaning but not be caught up that your world would be caught in shambles is going with the flow being like water and that's what phenomenology is it's, it's a it's the culmination of past, present, and future, and it, all the decisions are made because of our past decisions and our future endeavors, and that is rooted in our being as presence. And that's what being authentic is, is, is understanding that our experience is always going to be an experience that comes from the moments that we are living now. Uh, again, it's what we feel rather than what we say. We say a lot of things and don't really mean it, but our feelings are something that have never lied to us. Our heart never lies to us. So find that that you find so fascinating and go towards that thing uh, so it can manifest exactly what you're looking for. All right guys, so I'm out and about. Let's talk about peace.